Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Link Kaviva here, and today we are back on Figure Review Friday, the series where we discuss various figures on their scope, paint job, joints, and joint management every Friday. The figure we are reviewing today is Full Power Jiren from Dragon Ball Super, and like I say in the intro, there are four things we review. Let's start with the first, the scope. Now, um, scope on this guy is really good, really proportionate. There's really nothing negative I could really say about it. Paint job is also really good, but I'd say there's like a bit too much shading, like uh, like right here under his under his chin. There's a little bit too much shading, and um, that's basically it for the good part. <laughs> that's basically it for the good parts. Now for the bad parts, <laughs> um, the joint, <laughs> the joint. How do I say this? The joints on this guy are, um, trash. <laughs> well, like, they aren't, like, all of them aren't trash. Like, his neck, like, his neck is really good, and his legs are, like, really good, flexible, and they stay in place, but they also move really easily. The parts I'm talking about are his freaking arms. Like, you hear this? Like, all that squeakiness. Like, his, his left arm is good, but... But his right arm is just garbage. And I'm pretty sure this isn't like the, the one that I have. Because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other Jiren figures out there that have this same problem with, with the joints. Like I'll put up, I'll put up some screenshots um, about some of the joints being like really tight. And some with the arm even being like broken off. And I'm pretty sure that this goes without saying, they could have did this a lot better. Because I think that this problem happens because of the joint being like on the, on the, like connector part too tightly. And I'm, I'm pretty sure like there's only like a couple ways to fix that problem. Is to like, um, either put hand soap on the joint or like put it in hot water to loosen it up. But, you know... You, for a figure, you shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> but, you know, just me. But, without the way, let's uh, move on to this guy's accessories. Now, the accessories for this guy includes um, three interchangeable heads, two open palm hands, two grabbing hands, and two uh, chopping hands. Also, his uh, energy effect part connects to his left hand there we go yeah it also connects to his left hand so you can so you can get the scene of him like holding the his, his like sphere of energy i hope you guys enjoyed the third installment of figure review friday and actually to be honest with you i almost missed this friday because this is being recorded and edited on Thursday, the day before it's supposed to go up. But anyway, make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Friday.